Hey everybody, this is Michelle from Florida Keys Birding and Wildlife, and today we are talking about the Northern Flicker. The Northern Flicker is in the woodpecker family, and there are two different types, the yellow shafted and the red shafted. They both look slightly different from each other. So when it comes to identification, flickers appear brownish all over with a white rump patch, often visible when perched. The underside of the wing and tail feathers are bright yellow. Eastern birds are the yellow shafted, and western birds are the red shafted. Their brown plumage is richly patterned as well. Yellow shafted flickers have a tan face, gray crown, and a red crescent on the nape of their neck. Males have a black handlebar mustache. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> red shafted forms have a gray face, a brown crown, and no nape crescent. And the males have a red handlebar mustache. Also just as cute. <laughs> so some cool facts about the northern flicker is that a group of flickers are collectively known as a guttering, a menorah, and a Peterson of flickers. I really wonder sometimes where these people get the names for these groups of birds. I don't know, but it would be something interesting to research. A, uh, another cool fact about the northern flicker is that the yellow shafted species is a state bird of Alabama. There are hybrid species between the red shafted and the yellow shafted species, which are common for popul populations overlap, which I'm assuming is maybe the Midwest. Um, if you've seen one, post it below. I would love to see that. Northern flickers also use a drumming technique to attract a mate. Unfortunately though, for many people, they often practice on the metal flues of fireplaces. So that kind of sucks. Um, sucks for them. I don't have a fireplace, but I have heard woodpeckers drumming on the side of my house before and I had to go out and chase it away like stop ruining the side of my roof. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so those are some cool facts about the northern flicker. Northern flickers don't act like most woodpeckers. So with their behavior, they mainly forage on the ground sometimes even with sparrows and blackbirds. I haven't seen any other kind of woodpecker do this, so this is definitely different. They are also found in trees, often perched upright on horizontal branches, instead of leading, leaning against their tails on the trunk like most woodpeckers do, which is true. I have seen them on the ground foraging before, and I do see them on, you know, power lines and telephone poles and wires and stuff like that in my neighborhood. Um, they do fly similar to other woodpeckers as a, with an up and down path using heavy flaps um, and glides. So when it comes to habitat, look for flickers in open habitats near trees, including woodlands, edges, yards, and parks. In the west, you can find them in mountain forests all the way up to the tree line. Um, woodlands, forest edges, and open fields with scattered trees as well as city parks, suburbs, um, and places like that are good areas to find the northern flicker. In the western mountains, they occur in most forest types, including burn forests all the way up to the tree line. You can also find them in wet areas such as stream side woods, flooded swamps, and marsh edges, which is usually where I will find them um, here in the Keys since we are on the east side. So this species also breeds from Alaska, east through Manitoba to Newfoundland and south through the U.S. into Mexico and Cuba. It is a resident from approximately the U.S. Canada border southward as, and as northward as the northernmost birds are migratory. Preferred habitats include forest edges and open woodlands approaching savannas. So when it comes to food, the northern flicker will eat mainly insects, especially ants and beetles, that they gather from the ground. They also eat fruits and seeds, especially in the winter. Flickers often go after ants underground, where the nutritious larvae live. Ooh, that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> they love eating larvae. Yeah, so hammering at soil, the weight of what other woodpeckers do, and they drill into wood as well. They have been seen also breaking into cow patties to eat 
insects living inside. Oh, that's so gross. But hey, that's, um, that's how they find their food. So their tongues can dart out two inches beyond the end of the bill. Other invertebrates often include flies, butterflies, moss, and snails. So they also eat those. Flickers also eat berries and seeds, especially in the winter, including poison oak, uh, poison ivy, dogwood, sumac, wild cherry and grape, bayberries, hackberries, and elderberries. They also eat sunflower seeds and thistle seeds. I have seen them eat sunflower, but not thistle. Hmm, interesting. So when they breed, Northern flickers will usually excavate a nest hole in a dead or diseased tree trunk or in large branches. In northern North America, look for nests in trembling aspens. These trees are susceptible to heat rot, so it makes it easy for them to excavate. Unlike many woodpeckers, flickers often reuse cavities that they or another species has already excavated in a previous year. So, you know, it makes it easier for them. Nests are generally placed 6 to 15 feet off the ground, but on a rare occasion, you can find them over 100 feet high. Wow, that's really high. <laughs> Northern flickers have also been known to nest in old burrows of belted kingfishers or bank swallows. So their clutch size is usually 5 to 8 eggs. They usually do one brood per season, um, and they incubate their eggs for about 11 to 13 days. The nesting period is 24 to 27 days and their eggs come out all white. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the northern flicker, learning a few um, new facts about them. Please be sure to like and share and subscribe to support my channel so that I can continue making videos about different birds and Florida Keys wildlife. Thanks everybody!